One. Hi, welcome to a Short Attention Span. Today we're going to be making some cocktails. And I got my friend Darby here and my friend Posey here. Darby's going to show us how to make the perfect espresso martini. Perfect. All right, Darby, tell us what kind of stuff we're using here. Okay, so we're using, first and foremost, Tito's Vodka. Right. You can use any vodka you want, but Tito's is a personal favorite, as I think it is for a lot of people. Um, and then you're going to use Mr. Co or Mr. Black. Um, it's a coffee liqueur. Um, super good. Not sweet at all. That's why I like using this version but instead if, of, like, Kahlua or yeah. anything else. And if you wanted a sweeter version, though, you could use Kahlua. You could use Kahlua something. or Bailey's. Um, okay. But personal preference, Mr. Black is the best. All right. All right, so tell us what we got to do here. You didn't even let me go to the bar. Oh, okay. okay. That's gonna be that. That was gonna be the secret ingredient. Oh, okay. and this is the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. First, we are going to start by making the espresso. I don't know how to use your machine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got this really great uh, machine, and. Um, it does both espresso or Nespresso and Keurig pods. I highly recommend it. I use it for my Airbnb guests. I don't drink coffee, so <laughs> am I being that I don't drink coffee, am I gonna still like this um drink, would you say? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Everywhere has them now because they're so popular and faddish. Okay. <laughs> Where's your favorite place to get Nespresso martinis? Mm, Bella makes a really good one in Maryville. Austeria Stella makes a good one, or Brother Wolf, I guess I should say. So all the Italians know what they're doing they know when it comes doing, to yeah. espresso. Mm, it smells Sorry, okay. it smells really good. It smells good. Oh. It smells delightful. <laughs> don't, say, <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that a kid said home when you're... You can bleep it. That would make it funny if you bleep it out. <laughs> all right, now let's move back over to the cocktail station. So we got our... Espresso and the shaker. We need some ice. I'm that not. Go, no, 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 no. We don't need ice just yet. <laughs> but we will in a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, whoops. Let's get a clean up on aisle seven here. This is why. Mistakes happen. Let's get this in slow motion, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Cleaning the counter. Just... I'm single, ladies. I like boozy martinis. All right. So. You do an ounce and a half of vodka. Perfect. And then an ounce and a half of Mr. Black. Mr. Black. So, cold brew. Coffee liqueur. Coffee liqueur. And you could substitute, like, is Kahlua a coffee liqueur? You can, but it makes it more sweet and, like, more creamy based. And I like mine more coffee-like. Gotcha. So make it with this. Here, I can open Okay. All right. Now you can do ice if you would like. Okay, how much ice do we need? Just like a handful. Just a handful of ice? Thank you. So now we shake. Shake, shake, shake. So, uh, <laughs> when making a cocktail, if you don't know, Shaking or stirring is one of the most important steps. Did you know that? I did know that because the water is very Yeah, so it dilutes it perfectly. So you always want to shake it probably more than you think you need to shake it. Like she did a good job shaking it. So now we pour it in. Oh, yeah. Is this a good, like, Brunch drink because it's got coffee in it, or it's a good anytime drink. Good anytime drink. Now we we'll get to now. What do you got here? Buffalo bourbon. Buffalo cream. bourbon cream. Buffalo trace. So we're gonna do what with that? We're gonna froth it. Froth it. So we got a frother. And how much bourbon cream do we need? I just do a little bit because I like I said I don't like mine super creamy. So I just okay. basically do it as like a topper. Like if you put like. A floater on top of like your margarita or something. Gotcha. Just a little bit. Yeah, don't use a whole lot of that because it's I already ran hard out of to find. I already ran out of my. I mean, bottle. it's one thing when you can't find like George T. Stag, but it's another thing when you can't find like their bourbon cream. For goodness sake, jeez. It's good. So you cold foam it too. Some of them so make it So cold foam it. Okay, so this foamer you can do hot or cold. 
Because I always associate foam with like steam, but that's not the case here. Wine break. So you didn't answer my question though. What was the question? I said so I normally think of like foaming as like a hot process, but oh. you're telling me this does a cold cold foam or hot foam or something? Yes, like it that? does both. Oh, okay. So if I'm making a hot chocolate I gotta be careful as to Red means hot, blue means cold. Gotcha. Is it normal to put uh, bourbon cream foamed on top of these? Is this something you came up with? No, this is something I came up with. That's why it's so delicious. Yeah, that's why it's the perfect espresso, espresso martini. martini. So a lot of people will leave them just like this, like if you want it like not super creamy. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people make espresso martinis with Kahlua or Bailey's, but then I think that makes it too creamy and too sweet. So that's why I just do a topper. Would you say that there's any good thing to like garnish a drink like this? If you were gonna like Oh, serve I don't know, and maybe like, like coffee beans? Oh, do we have any coffee beans? No. Oh, no, we don't because somebody didn't bring coffee beans. Mm. <laughs> so now you're just going to top it with it. Can you draw like a, a smiley face or like a leaf or something? Uh, I mean, you could, but I'm not that fancy. <laughs> Thank you. If you look at this one. I'm like freaking Picasso. So now Posey's volunteered to be our taste tester. She has a really hard job. Mm -hmm. All right, do you um, like coffee? Yep. All right. So we're good. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I'll be honest, if it's terrible, we want to know. No, it's really good. Would you say that that's the best espresso martini you've ever had? Yeah. <laughs> Since she's never had one. <laughs> With what, how would you normally, like if you were going to order that, would you order it at night or like at a brunch or? I'd probably your, order it at night like, with like a dessert. A mm, dessert, yeah. yeah. That sounds like a good idea. But I don't like mimosa, so this would probably be something I would want over a mimosa. Oh, right. Any final thoughts? Mm. It's good. Mm. I have to taste it too, I just make sure. <laughs> I want to taste it, and since I don't like coffee, I want to see. One, two, three. Cheers! Shit, that's fresh. Not bad. <laughs>